Hi, my name is Dharmesh Mehta, and me and my good buddy Lon Lee are very excited to share a quick preview with you of the new version of Windows Live Messenger. There are a lot of great features coming in this version. Today, we want to talk about two big things. First, we're going to talk about how Messenger continues to be great at those real-time conversations with your close friends, and how we're going to make those even richer and more meaningful. Secondly, we're going to talk about how Messenger is going to help you stay in touch with those friends, not only in Messenger, but across all the things they're doing all around the internet. Let's dig in. First, let's talk about those meaningful conversations. Now, Lon's one of my best friends, which means I made him a favorite. And on my new Windows 7 PC, that means I can access him right from the jump list. Let me see if he's online, because I want to ask him some questions about his last trip to Paris. Hey, Lon, you there? Looks like he's busy. Maybe I'll just leave him a little video message so when he gets back online, he knows I want to get a hold of him. Try and record this. Let's see. Hey, Lon, give me a shout when you're back online. I want to ask you some questions about your last trip to Paris. Let me play that hey, back, Lon, make sure it recorded right. Online. I want to ask you some questions about your yep, last trip. That looks good. Let me send that right over to Lon. Hey, it's Darmesh. I haven't talked to him forever, but I'm supposed to be working. Hmm. All right. That's what I can do. I'm going to right click on my coworkers. And I'm going to appear offline to everyone there. You notice that they're all gray? They can't see me. So now I can get away and talk to Dharmesh for a bit and get back to work later. Hey, Dharmesh. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to start a video call. Hello. Connecting. Hey, Lon, where have you been? Hey, how are you? How's, how's it going? It's been going good. Hey, I need some advice about a trip Ami and I are going to take to... We're thinking about going to Paris. Oh, I love Paris. Yeah, Paris is cool, but um, tell me about it. Um, before I tell you about it, you need to show me your photos from Asia. You haven't seen them? I put them up on SkyDrive, man. Nope. Send them over. All right, hold on. Let me just bring them right into this conversation. Just click on Share, add some photos from an online album, and I can see all my albums that are up on SkyDrive. Let me select those pictures from Asia. Here. Check these out, Lon. Here's some cool skewers. I know Ooh, you love to eat. I love skewers. Yep. And uh, check out these candles. They're made out of soap. So cool. Soap? Who uses soap? <laughs> you probably should, Lon. Now, Thanks. these are the best. I love red hot chili peppers. Oh, those look really hot. Did you take all these photos yourself? Of course I did. They're so good. Whatever. But, dude, back to Paris. You got to show me those pictures of Versailles. Versailles. Versailles was probably my favorite place. Check this out. Bing search pulls up the photos, and this is the palace that we stayed at. Pretty nice. <laughs> you wish you stayed at Versailles. <laughs> Anyways, I got to go back to work. So right, thanks man. for sharing your photos, hey, and no we'll worries. catch up later. Yep, I'll catch you later. Now let's talk about how Messenger helps you stay in touch with what your friends are doing all across the internet. I've always gotten quick updates from my friends right in Messenger. Right next to their name, I can see a little status update and what they're up to. But I don't just get updates in Messenger. I also use Facebook. And a bunch of my friends are sharing updates there. You can see some photos my wife shared from our vacation in Spain. And you can see a video my friend Christine Lee shared with me. I've got these updates all over the place. I've even got a bunch of them sitting in my Hotmail inbox. But with the explosion of the internet, people are using all sorts of different sites. My friend Rob, he actually loves to use Flickr. And that's where he's got his photos from France. And my wife, she loves WordPress. She wrote this blog post yesterday about how she had lunch with the Messenger team. So now I've got these updates all over the place. And for my good friends, folks like my wife, Ami, and my good buddy, Lon, it's hard to keep up with all those updates. So let me show you the new social view and how we make this so much easier for you. As you can see, we've got all these photos with beautiful views, and we've brought all this data together, whether they were Messenger updates or from SkyDrive, places like Facebook, Flickr, all those updates come together. And because I've said Lon and Ami are my favorites, the updates from the two of them always rise to the top, making it easy to stay in touch with those favorite close friends. But it isn't just about um, bringing these together. It's about being able to interact with this content. So let me click on one of those photos. And look at this. Look at the beautiful views of photos in Messenger. Let me just uh, write a little comment on one of these photos. These two, they actually look like twins. And instantly, that'll post out to all my friends. Now, it's not just commenting on photos. It's also about how I want to share updates with my friends. So let me drag this picture from Mountain Rainier 
right into my status message area. I'll write a little quick note, Mount Rainier, and share this out with my friends. Now let me go over here to my profile area, see the updates I've shared. And here you can see Mount Rainier. And when one of my friends comments on this picture, it instantly shows up. You can see Lon thinks this picture is really awesome. So that's a preview of the new Windows Live Messenger, showing you how we're going to make it richer and more meaningful to have those great real-time conversations, but also how Messenger is going to help you stay in touch with your friends and the things they're doing all across the internet. We hope you enjoyed seeing it. There's a lot more to come, and we're very excited to share it with you. Stay tuned.